Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning Wild Land. And this hashtag Friday feels, I'm so excited to welcome to the show Leon Els. Of course, congratulations on the release of your new single Thank you. today. Thank you. Yep. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, the song's called Signs, and it's basically about um, a time in my life when I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Um, so it was a point where, because of the stigma around it, and I didn't know much about it, I was kind of at this point, like, so in such a dark place, I was like, oh my God, like, what do I do? People are going to judge me. People are going to think that I'm crazy. People are going to think that my life's ruined kind of thing. I thought that my life was going to be ruined. Um, so it's kind of like my song to myself to, like, look for a sign, like, a sign to carry on, a sign to get out of bed every day, a sign to, you know, just... Yeah, a sign to just be myself and just hope, you know, like have hope kind of thing. It's so, yeah. such an important conversation, so timely, of course, with mental health awareness yeah, yeah. month. And I love that you're being so open and vulnerable mm -hmm. with totally. your story and inspiring others through music. I mean, that's the whole point so of your amazing. Art. Yeah, absolutely. I feel, I feel like, you know, it sounds cheesy, but I think it's said for a reason that music is uh, can be healing. And I think in the world, music actually brings a lot of people together. Again, I know it's cheesy, but I think it's it's true. And I think that I think it's important to be vulnerable because there's so many people out there like myself for so many years of my life that felt so alone and didn't know how to get help, didn't understand what was going on in my head. And I think people need to speak up more. And if I, me putting myself out there can help someone somewhere in the world get help or, you know, hopefully not take their own life, which is what happens with so many young um, people and older people then I feel like it's worth me speaking up about it. So well, what's what's working? So you're diagnosed mm -hmm. and, and then obviously you're doing beautiful music around it to express it, but how are you How are you dealing with it? Um, well, also I, I um, went to obviously get, go see a psychiatrist. I don't believe in going Googling. I do it all the time, but you know, when you Google your own oh. symptoms, you're like, oh, God. oh my gosh, don't <laughs> do that. Worst idea ever. Everything's like, I die, you're going to die, you're going to yeah. die, you're going to die. Yeah, totally. Right, so <laughs> I would definitely say go and talk to maybe your doctor, your GP, or whatever you might call it out here, your general practitioner. Get referred to a specialist. Don't, I personally don't believe letting a general pr practitioner tell you mentally what's going on. It takes a certain person. So go to someone who specializes in it, like a psychiatrist or maybe a psychologist. That's what I've done. I went to both. Um, after loads of like testing and talking through and talking about my symptoms and stuff, then I was diagnosed. Then you kind of start a process of finding the right medication, um, if that's the route you want to go. Um, and it's trial and error sometimes. You know, you're here, there, you're up, you're down. And it's, it can be quite a... Um, a hard process because you're feeling like, oh, for God's sake, just give me the right one. But after a while, you do get the right balance. Um, so that really helped me. I also go to um, a psychologist once a week, which I think everyone in general, yes. no matter what in the world, yeah. everybody, yes. <laughs> yeah. because it's good to talk when you have problems. It doesn't even necessarily be about mental problems. Any problems you have when you talk to a friend, we all feel like it's a problem halved. You feel like it gets off your chest kind of thing. So I do that as well, but then I eat well. I go to the gym, I look after myself in that way, I meditate, which I think is really important. There's so many apps like Headspace and Calm out there. Everyone has access, there's a great ha app called Happy Not Perfect. Mm. Um, but I think more importantly than that is education. Educate yourself, understand your diagnosis, whether it be just depression, anxiety, bipolar, Whatever it may be, if you educate yourself, then you understand what you have. Mm -hmm. Then you can, you know, manage it so much better. A lot of people don't understand what they have. They don't, they don't know what's going on. So it could be very scary. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and they feel isolated and alone. Absolutely. We know that your music has ended up on the soundtracks of things like 13 Reasons mm -hmm. Why, yeah, yeah. Again, which mm -hmm. is part of this whole message. Absolutely. It was an incredible, uh, obviously successful series on Netflix, but it, stru it struck a conversation happening globally about isolation mental health awareness, suicide. I think this mission is so incredible. Thank you. No, you're welcome. Yeah, no, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your music is so genius. I mean, you're, you do you. this beautiful dance and becoming so vulnerable and raw and then also giving hope in the middle of it. It's yeah. really well done. I mean, you're clearly a very evolved human being. Thank you. Very, I, very I appreciate conscious. that. I think it's, it does boil down to that no matter how dark your situation is. And I've been through so much in my life, um, which some of my music coming out later explains a bit more. But I think you always have to hold on to the fact that you are not alone. And I know it's so hard to stand up and go, hey, I need help. Mm -hmm. It's so hard. But once you do that, it gets better. You are not alone. And it does get easier. You know, and just always remember that there's always hope out there. There's always hope. I just find it so fascinating and so inspiring your story, of course, the music. You know, one of the challenges that people often have when they're experiencing bipolar is that 
they don't have the motivation to do the things that they would love to do. Was that the case with you? And yeah, yeah. I mean, I for me, it's because I, I feel like sometimes people always sometimes look at it as a mental illness, and it is in so many ways. But sometimes with these mental illnesses, as they put it, um, comes some real great benefits. Mm. You know, you know, with autism, there's people that are absolute geniuses mm -hmm. because they have autism mm -hmm. and they excel in so many things. And I think, you know, we should start maybe looking at some of these things in a more positive way, thinking rather than going, you're cursed, that's it, your life's done, mm -hmm. you've got a mental illness, there's something wrong with you, we need to flip it and go, right, what, what is it that, you know, that this condition, this thing you have, can bring to your life and for me I managed to get drive I've got drive I become obsessed with something and when I become obsessed with something I go 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 until I've got it it's so what we believe around here spiritually believe that there is this this factor of the universe that is such intelligence and it knows exactly what it's doing and whatever hardship whatever suffering whatever disease there is some blessing that comes out of it there has to be and there has to be a relative experience out of all of us totally it's so cool absolutely and I think it's just accept yourself understand it, stop trying to run from it. And I know it's hard, again, it's so easy to preach that, but I preach from a place of, I know. I'm not just someone sat on the sidelines going, oh, I've studied it and I think you feel this and I think you feel that. I know how you feel. And I think just, you know, just accept yourself. Once you accept it, you can move on and you can live pretty much a normal life sometimes with getting the right treatment and that. And I just think, yeah, like, mm -hmm. Look at yourself as a, as a blessing. Don't look at yourself as cursed. It's so interesting you say that because in a lot of Eastern spiritual tradi traditions, when someone is depressed or they're experiencing some kind of emotional disorder or dysfunction, they actually see them as getting closer and closer to enlightenment. And so then they, they have them enter in the Zen monastery and they have a totally different perspective because they're able to see the blessing in all of that. So it's a beautiful Absolutely, point. absolutely. And I think for me, it's like I feel the highs a lot more intense than most people. And then I feel the lows a lot more intense than most people. But at the same time, I'm like, maybe if I didn't have that, I wouldn't be able to do what I do, which is what I love. Mm. You know, and life ain't perfect. You know, you don't have to be bipolar to understand what depression's like. You don't have to be bipolar to know you're having a, you're having a terrible day. You know, we all have this. You know, we don't all need to be labeled with you got this and you got that and you got totally. this and you're different. Mm -hmm. We actually all go through these emotions at some point in our life. And that's something that actually brings us together mm -hmm. rather than pulls us apart. Right. Leon, thank you again so much. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. The way you are expressing yourself for sharing your incredible mm -hmm. music with the world. Please thank tell you. everyone where they can get signs and follow your journey. Yeah, you can get signs on all platforms like Apple Music, Spotify. Um, everywhere basically and you can follow me on Instagram at Leon Else where we're hopefully going to open out another conversation and continue the conversation and yeah so that's where you can Love find that. me. If you've been looking for a sign here's your sign. Yes. Stay tuned we'll be right back.